Good morning, Stampers. Happy Saturday morning. It is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 15th, halfway through the first month of 2022. That is just crazy. I am Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. Thank you guys for joining me for part two of our love and friendship online card series. So how it works is we're gonna make these three cards today. Aren't they cute? They all have a theme of love or friendship. And um, if you would like the supplies to make this card, to make these cards, then it's super simple. All you need to do is purchase uh, $60 from my online store, um, or you can send me your order. You get to choose a free celebration item and I will send you all of the supplies, the cards and the um, embellishments to make these cards at home. So you will need to supply the stamp sets, the inks and your adhesives. And I will give you all the paper, all the die cuts um, to make the cards. So super easy, $60 purchase. I do have a host code here, which I will put in the link at the end of the video if you wanna use the host code or if you want me to help you to purchase, then you can just email me your purchase, and there we go. All right, so I am just setting up my video so I can follow along. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Linda. How are you guys? Happy Saturday. I hope you are warm, because it is freezing here, like absolutely freezing. It is crazy. I don't even know if I want to walk the dogs this morning. That's how cold it is. Okay, so let me put these aside. We're going to start with this one first. Um, what we need to make this card is, so these little pieces here, um, I just cut those out of the DSP for the um, is it Sweet Talk, I think, Sweet Talk DSP, and I cut them out using the picture this, okay? Um, it seems like, so I used the negatives of the cutout from here. Um, it seems like a little bit of a waste of paper. However, you don't throw out the piece that you cut out. So I have these pieces here that we cut out. We're going to be using those. Um, but here's an example. I just did this on my blog today of how I use the other piece from the cutout. So there's no waste. You can get two cards out of one cutout. And this is a really cute shaker card. Love it. Check out my blog if you want to see um, how to make this one. Okay, so to make this, we just need a piece of real red um, cardstock cut in half. So it's five and a half uh, by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We need basic black, and this is uh, four by five and a quarter. And I ran this one through the, um, the new embossing folder. I don't know if you can see it. Um, what is it called? Oh, somebody help me. My mind just went blank. Um, gingham. The gingham embossing folder. Okay. On this one, I did the, the honeycomb one, which is also a new one. But I decided to try it on this one for this card. And then we need two pieces of basic white. One's a tiny smidgen bigger. This is for the outside one. So this is, what is this? This is four and... Um, one eighth by five and three eighths and that is just to be layered here so we can go ahead and we can layer that the inside one is just four by five and a quarter and that's for our inside stamping so let's stick these together and which side do I want up? I think I want that one side yeah so how are you guys this morning uh oh my glue is stuck I hope you are well and thank you so much for joining me for my online class we have one more in this series coming up, and it is on February the 12th. Same time, same place. So 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time on my Facebook page. And we will go live and make three more cards with the same love and friendship theme. I still have to design them, so that's what I'm doing this weekend. All right. So there we go. So there's the outside of our card done. We might as well go ahead and adhere our DSP. So we can do it in whatever pattern we want. Um, 
I'm just going to do it similar because I like the way that worked. Okay, so we're just going to stick those down just like that. This is a super easy card. And it, it's because, I mean, yes, there's pink in it. But because there's black, it's also pretty good for those masculine cards that you may want to give at Valentine's Day. Um, because it's not really too, it's not really feminine. So, you know, my husband will be getting this card. <laughs> my sons, I can still do a cute card for. Because, you know, they're teenagers, but I'm their mom. So I'm allowed to be cute with them. All right. Move that over a little bit. I don't want it, I don't want these guys lined up. Oh, I just made a mess. All right. So... This little guy here is a die cut from um, from the bundle. So this is the stamp set that I'm using for this stamp. It's Sweet Conversations, and it comes in a bundle, and it has the sweetheart dies. And there's a whole bunch of really cute, cute hearts and different designs that you can do. This one here makes a little envelope. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has... Um, some pre-embossed areas and all you do is fold them over just like this and you make a really cute envelope so you can either do the envelope like this and you could put a message on the outside and and you could put some DSP on here and just have it like this but I actually want it to go this way so that I can have a little heart sticking out um, to to put a message in so there's different ways you can do it just let me find my take a pick tool and um, I'm going to just put a couple little glue dots on this guy to stick it down. Okay, I don't want to put glue in here because I'm going to put a heart in there. So I'm just going to put a glue dot there. And I'm going to put a glue dot there. Okay, and stick this down and stick this down. And that's all I need to do. I could put one here if I wanted to, but I'm not too fussed about that. And that will work just like that. So I'm not going to stick that down just yet. I am going to put my glue on so that um, it doesn't dry out on me because that would be fun trying to pick it out. Okay, so I'm going to take my scrap paper here and I'm going to stamp out some hearts or punch out. So these are in the annual catalog. Um, they come in a bundle so you get a serrated one and you get a flat one. So I'm just taking a piece, piece of I can't even speak. Basic white, punching that out. And then I will punch out one in basic black. And I will punch out one in real red. All right. Now we're actually getting to some stamping. Can you believe it? I can put these punches away because I'm feeling kind of claustrophobic here. I have too much too much around me you guys can't see it all but so I want to put happy Valentine's Day I have a piece of dog hair in here that's really gross I want to put happy Valentine's Day but as you guys can see it is too big okay so the way that we can do this is with your stamp and write markers so you take the paintbrush end and all I'm going to do is ink up you could also do this with your ink pad if you put tape over this side so that you're only inking up a portion of it but we're just going to use our stamp and write markers so I'm just going to use the side of it and I'm just going to put happy right across the top okay and then we need to clean off the ink there I gotta find my my lovely chamois I love this it looks gross but it's it's actually clean um all you do is keep re-wetting it with water. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Valentine's Day. These markers are perfect if you wanna color a stamp and have multiple inks in one stamp. Okay, so there's Valentine's Day. And we just need the day. They're also great if you stamp 
and you miss a part, you can color in with your Stampin' Right markers so you don't have to throw out your project or try and fix a boo-boo. Oh, see, I have ink on the S there, so I don't want to stamp that. I want to get rid of that ink so that I don't have... Um, an image coming up that I don't want. Okay, and then hopefully that's centered. I can't really tell because I'm not above it. There we go. That worked. And that, my friends, are how you can make a stamp fit the shape if it doesn't. All right. So now we're ready to put these guys on and I just really want to kind of layer them and just stick them like that. Now, I if you put the black down against the black, you can't see it. So we wanna do red, black, red, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna stick these guys there. We're almost done our first card. Can you believe it? I'm not gonna put glue on the red because um, I don't want it sticking over, right? So I'm just gonna do this. I should be doing this on my silicon mat because I'm gonna get glue all over my table, but oh well. And then I'm gonna stick this one just like that. So I'm just layering them a little bit so they're on an angle. You could, you could put them on top of each other if you wanted, but I just wanted it a little bit offset. Not too much, but a little bit, just like that. And then we'll put it here. See how easy this card is? Like you can make quite a few of these actually. And we'll put it right here. Okay, we have one more thing to do on the outside and that is stamp this little I love you and then cut it out. So let me take my scrap and let me take my real red. We might as well stamp the inside as well. All right, so I'm gonna take the love you. I'm just gonna stamp it here. And while I have the ink out, I'll show you what I did on the inside. We can do the same. I just did happy to have you in my life, XOXO. Okay, so happy to have you in my life. I'm gonna center this. And this is from the uh, Sweet Conversation stamp set. Because I am using photopolymer, I should have a mat underneath it, but I'm taking a chance. Let's hope my chance works. All right, and then we want XOXO. Now, I want um, I want it to be kind of centered, so I'm gonna do the, the O first, and then the X is around it, and that way I am okay for my positioning. So let me put that away before I have my fingers end up in it. And we will do our X. Oh, my dog is barking. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. And X. There we are. All right, so ink away. Ink away, Jen. Let's actually stick this in before um, I end up losing it because <laughs> that's me it's a disaster you should see my um, my craft room I am preparing for our flowering tulips stamp camp look at me I got ink all over me already um, and uh, yeah so a bomb has gone off in here I have no room so I'm very claustrophobic so I'm, hopefully you guys are okay with that Okay, so we have stamped Love You. So now we gotta find the die that fits it. So it's this guy, There's we have three ones, and these, these dies here actually um, cut out from the DSP. So that's awesome, there's a cute little, we'll see it on the third card, um, things that we can cut out. You can fussy cut them as well, but you know. All right, let me move all of this. We're gonna bring in our baby boss. Isn't this so cute? Little baby boss. All right. Uh, and we are just going to cut our, hopefully this is, you guys can see this. Okay. And let me 
get it started. I'm just going to come backwards so that it doesn't go off. And there we go. We have our die cut. Let me move Baby Boss out of the way. I love that Baby Boss. He is so cute. Okay. Is that kind of weird that I'm saying a machine is cute? So all I'm going to do is stick this in here just like that. Okay. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the back. And stick it in. Oh, there goes my dog again. Oh. It's too cold for them to go outside and run. So they're going a little bit stir crazy in the house. And I just got glue everywhere. It'll come off. All right, and then we're just gonna glue this down. And that, my friends, is card number one. Perfect for those masculine or feminine people in your life for Valentine's Day, which is coming quick. All right, so let me move this to the side and let me clean up everything from this card and we will get out card number two. All right, so card number two, we will do, where did I put all my cards? We will make this guy next. So, um, what do we need? We need some, so I use the same um, embossing folder, which is the gingham, I love it. It is my new favorite. Okay, we have a piece of Poppy Parade this time which is a little bit of a brighter red than the real red. See the difference? So this is a little bit darker and this is a really bright poppy color. Um, so this again is half a piece. So it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of um, designer series paper. This is the host set from the annual catalog. I think it's called Party Patterns a huge set of paper um, that you can only get as a host gift and it's well worth it. It's got black and white on one side and lots of vibrant colors on the other. So this is four by five and a quarter. We have a piece of basic white for the inside, which is four by five and a quarter. We have some scrap. We have um, a label cut. This is from this is from the new, it's also in the uh, mini catalog, it's Bouquet of Love. It's part of a, a bundle, which we're using the sentiments um, in that bundle. So that's, that's where this guy comes from. This is just scrap for us to stamp on. And then I just, with the same bundle, I cut out uh, a vellum heart, okay? So those are the pieces. Oh, and we need a piece of uh, Granny Apple Green. And this is just a little bit bigger than um, the four by five and a quarter. So this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And what we're gonna do, let me put all of this stuff to the side and we're going to cut our corners here. And I'll show you how to do that. It's not hard at all. So you just take your, your cut piece of DSP to the size you want and you bring in your paper trimmer all right let me just make sure that this is on camera for you guys okay so what we do is we line up corner to corner in our tray okay so one corner to one corner in our tray and we give it a cut okay just like that so now we have two triangles then what we're gonna do is we're gonna line them back up and we're gonna turn it to the other corner to corner, okay? So we're gonna keep them, if you can't keep them kind of lined up with your hands, um, then you can put a little piece of tape or something on it if you need to. But I should be able to hold it. So I'm just lining up the opposite corner to corner and holding the two pieces together and then I'm just gonna cut it this way. Okay, and then what you end up with is the two sides, and then this you can use on another card. So you could do the another card with the opposite. So instead of having the hearts on this side, you could do the hearts on the top. Okay, and have the DSP on the side. And then you get two cards out of one piece of paper. Cool, eh? All right, so we'll just put those off to the side because we don't need those, but we need these. And I'll get rid of my trimmer. 
And we are, let's start assembling to get rid of some of these pieces on my desk before I leave them. So let's take, we'll take these guys and we'll glue them together. Just let me double check that I cut these properly. No, yep. No. Nope. Okay, I need to trim it because it doesn't look quite right. It looks like I cut on an angle. So I want four and one eighth. There we go, that's better. That should line up better. Perfect, all right. I was tired last night when I was prepping for this class. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna glue it. You can use any kind of adhesive. Again, I like the liquid glue. Gives me a second to get it straight because I can never get anything straight. There we go. And then these guys, we're just gonna glue right up to the edge of the poppy parade. Oh, see, it moved on me. I don't, I want that straight. There we go. So, glue. So what are you guys doing for this weekend? Hopefully you can get some crafting in. I know I'm gonna be hibernating in my craft room from this cold it's gonna break tomorrow so I think we'll go uh, we'll go up to the to our trailer tomorrow and just have a check on things make sure everything's good but today I'm hoping to just stay put in here and play that's what I want okay cute doesn't matter that they're not totally lined up here because we're gonna be hiding that with our vellum um, so we're going to take our vellum and we can glue this down. Vellum will show through with the adhesive. So I really just put it down, um, in the spot where I knew that I was going to be hiding it. And let me see, I can't find my stamp and seal, um, with the otter. Okay. So really I'm just gonna stick a piece right in here. Of the stamping seal oops I put it up opposite way okay our otter's gonna go the opposite way you won't be able you can't you can see it a little bit but it's not too too bad so we're gonna hide that um, with our otter all right so let's get some stamping well I guess I can adhere it to the outside of the card let's do that get one less piece on my desk that I can use Oh boy, I think I needed another cup of coffee this morning. I had my uh, booster this week and I have not been sleeping well since, I don't know if it's related or what, but so pardon me while I have a drink of water because I am dry. Okay, so we need, we are using you know, this little guy from the Awesome Otters. Isn't this cute? Oh, this is a free set in celebration with a $60 order. So you could choose this as one of your free items if you purchase this class. Okay, so let me get out all my stuff. So we're gonna do our otter. We're, we, we're gonna be coloring it with blends. So I am going to stamp in Memento. Um, this is a water-based black. So when we use our alcohol markers, it will not bleed. Okay. You don't want to use like a stays on with alcohol markers because they will bleed into each other. So you do want to use, um, you do want to use Memento. Okay. And then I'm going to be using these blends. So I have our crumb cake blends and I have our ivory. Now we have new blends that just came out. They're, um, uh, pre-order right now for the demos and they would have been perfect for this but I haven't had a chance to play with them so I haven't figured out the colors yet so I'm going to just do what I know will work okay so we're just going to color this guy really quick I'm using the light crumb cake and I say this every time I use it I need to get a new one because I use this so often that it is running out of ink and the tip is not the best. 
Now this has lasted me a long time and I do a lot of coloring. So I'm not going to worry about coloring the, the fish because we're going to be covering it up with a die cut heart. And I, I did the little die cut heart from the Give It A Whirl. They have really cute. Oh no, I didn't. I used it the Sweet Talk because they have a little one there too, I think. I'll have to double check. Okay, so light crumb cake. I'm just gonna come in and do a little bit of shadows with the dark. You can see how much darker my dark is, eh? You know my light's really light. Because they should be fairly close in color there. And then I'm just gonna blend them so it doesn't look like I have lines. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the nibby end and I'm just kind of going around in circles and I'm pulling the ink out so that it's, there's not distinct lines. So I'm, I'm really, I'm just, I'm blending them, which I guess is why we call them blends. And it just really helps to give a little bit of depth on, on our little critters here. Okay, I'm gonna go up a little bit on this one. Doesn't look like a line here. And when that dries, you won't see any distinction between the two colors. All right. And then I'm going to do his little nose in light black. Oops, I think I took the dark black. Oh, well, he's getting a dark black nose. And his belly, I'm doing in ivory. Again, this part's going to be hidden, so I'm not too worried about it. And I have a feeling, oh no, I did. Yay. I was like, I think I forgot to punch out my heart. So this heart is from um, the Give It A Whirl because the hearts in the sweet talk are a little bit smaller and I wanted to hide the fish. I didn't want to see the fish sticking through. So we're just going to pop this one up. So there are no dies for this. So unfortunately, or fortunately, if you like fussy cutting, you need to cut with some scissors. So we're just going to give this guy a trim. Now when I cut with my scissors, I will move the paper. I will not move my scissors. My scissors will stay in the same direction. Oh, I forgot to color an ear. How did I forget to color an ear? Can you hear my puppy? He's going crazy upstairs. All right. Almost done. I guess I could have done this ahead of time so you guys didn't have to watch me cut. But there we go. All right. And then we're ready to stick this on. So I'm going to pop the heart up with dimensionals and I'm going to pop. Um, I'm out of dimensionals. And I'm going to pop the uh, otter up. So, I guess I can use all large ones. All right, so let's stick the, the otter up. I'm not going to put a dimensional underneath his tail because I want his tail to tuck underneath the sentiment. So, we can just stick him on. Okay, and I'm going to try and cover some of my glue there so we don't see it. There we go. You don't really notice it anyway. And then stick a uh, dimensional on here and cover up the fish. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think these guys are just so adorable. Okay, and then we just need to stamp our sentiment. Now I did cut out two because it's not easy to stamp um, on the camera because I can't line up properly. All right, so this is Poppy Parade. I, put, I almost grabbed my real red because I put it in the wrong spot. 
So Poppy Parade, and I do need to re-ink my Poppy Parade, so I need to make sure I get enough ink on here, because it's kind of... All right, hopefully this is centered. I can't see. No, not really, but it's okay. It'll do. It'll do. And I'm just going to clean this. And we're going to pop that up just over his tail. So we're kind of overlapping everything so that they're, everything is sort of connected, right? We don't want him floating. Right now he's floating. Um, by putting the sentiment over his tail, we're kind of grounding him and the sentiment gets grounded to the edges, okay? We don't really want things floating around. So we're grounding, right? So we're grounding him to here and these are grounded to here. Cool. I hope you guys like it. So for the inside, if I can find my basic white, which is hiding under my glue, all I did was stamp um, a sentiment here. Here's to another year of love, laughter, and happily ever after. So this would be perfect for an anniversary card. And some hearts. So let's just stamp that. And then we are done. Card number two. All right. So again, you wouldn't be inking out this much. It's just my ink pad is really, it, I really need to to re-ink it. See how bad it is, even though I went everywhere. Uh, if I had my re-inker, I would re-ink it. There we go. I've been using my Poppy Parade so much with the uh, Flowering Tulips bundle, because it just goes gorgeous with that bundle. And now I need to ink. So whenever you guys buy a uh, stamp color it's always good um to get the right inker because then you have it for a very 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 long time all right we are done card number two so don't forget if you want um to be able to purchase the kits to make these cards all you need to do is place a 60 dollar order with me uh within the next week and um, you will also get to choose a free celebration item. Isn't that super cute? I love it. Okay, let's put this to the side over here and let's clean up and we will get our next one out. The last one, we're going to switch up the colors a little bit. So in the sample card, I did some greens. This one, we are going to do some pinks and purples. So do you see all these little hearts? These come from the um, Sweet Talk DSP and they, the dyes will actually cut them out. You can, I cut these out just by hand. Um, this one I cut out with the dyes. These ones are just fussy cut to show that you could do both of them very easily. Very simple. Okay, let's put these guys off to the side. So this one I've paired with the um, Rainbow of Happiness bundle. So it's this and the dies, which I don't have the dies handy, but there's really cute dies that have cut out these guys from the glimmer paper. Okay. This is using, so I just cut out some clouds using the um, these this die right here, okay? And this is from the basic border dies from the annual catalog. So I just cut out two out of basic white and I just made them so that they're different heights and they'll fit right on. I, I made this one a little bit smaller because I wanted to show the DSP on this one. So I made this guy a little bit smaller. This is, let me measure, um, three and a quarter by four and five eighths, okay? So the DSP is three and a quarter by four and five eighths. And I 
cut this out of the polymer paper. Isn't this gorgeous? So we're just going to align these up on the white. We'll probably have to give it a little trim. This is from the Sweet Talk DSP, and this is just our normal four by five and a quarter. See, I just wanted to, sh to show the hearts a little bit, so I made this piece a bit smaller than what I did in here. I cut this out of the Rainbow and Happiness um, die set. And then gorgeous grape. And this is just standard cut in half. So five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then this is for the inside. All right, so we are ready to put together. So let's assemble our, there's very little stamping on this one. It's mostly just gluing. So this would be perfect for somebody that is fairly new to stamping. So I'm just gonna line this one up right here and then we can line the rest of them up to fit. And if they don't all fit, we just trim them. Right, so you see how we're gonna have to trim these guys off the edge? So we just want fairly equal distance between them. And I'm gonna line this up to the bottom and that up to the top, and then the rest will go from wherever. Okay, so let's start gluing. So you don't need a lot of glue, okay? Because you don't want it squishing out from the sides. So again, I'm gonna line up the bottom and I'm gonna line up the top. And that's where this one is gonna go. And then all the other rainbows will go between here. Hey Claire, how's it going? Oh, you just ordered it? Oh, you'll have fun. You will have a lot of fun with it. I love it. Okay, and then we're just going to adhere the rest of them. So you, you do wanna leave kind of equal distance between them. I'm not gonna push it down just in case I have to move them. Okay, like already I need to move him. Um, once kind of you push it down, then you're, you're encouraging the glue to set. So you do have to move fairly quickly here. I'm worried more about lining up the edge here and the bottom I can just trim if it goes over. And get some more glue, come on glue. Don't fail me now. And there we go. So those are pretty good. Like, you know, I'm just eyeballing them, but they're pretty even. So I'm going to push them down now and then we can adhere them. I love this paper. Love the glimmer paper. It is so happy and cheery. And so it's not too bad. I don't need to cut too much off, but I will just give it a trim so it's nice and neat. And there we go. How simple, super easy is that? Now, before I glue it to here, I am going to glue my um, clouds on just in case I need to give these guys a trim too, okay? So I don't want to put, so on the back, that's fine. I'll put lots of glue on the back because I'm not really sticking anything under it, but I do want to layer some of the heart. So I want to make sure I don't put adhesive near the top of the next layer because I want to be able to tuck them in, okay? So there's a cloud. Right, so when I'm putting my hearts on, I wanna be able to tuck some of them in here. So I don't want glue all the way up at the top, okay? So I'm really just gonna put adhesive along the edges, along the edges, and along the edges, and I'll do a little bit here, just because that's, I'm not gonna be putting any hearts down there. Okay, and we can just line that up, and there we are. Isn't this cute? I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the pink one and purple one better. We'll see. So this DSP, the, the little hearts there, this is from the, uh, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Sunshine and Rainbow DSP. And that is free with a $60 order. So that's another celebration item until that is available while supplies last until February 28th. So every time you purchase $60, you get to choose another item from the celebration. Okay, there we are. So now all we need to do is stamp our sentiment. Okay, and this again 
is from the Love and Happiness. This is the bundle. That this is the stamp set that goes with these really cute little dies. Okay, so this is another bundle. This one is perfect for anniversary, weddings. It's awesome. Um, all right, so let's grab this. You know what? I am. Oh no, I'm not missing anything. So it's a really tiny font, which is perfect for the front of this. And I'm just gonna stamp it in gorgeous grape on the die cut that I've already die cut out. Cute. I don't know, I love purple for Valentine's Day color. I know it's not kind of traditional, but I love it. All right, and we are going to stick that right here and I am gonna pop it up just so that it's, you can see it a little bit more from the white background. We're almost done, guys. Three cards, it's gone by fast. All right, so let's put it right here. And we will adhere this to the card base and then we get to play with our hearts. Look at how cute this is. Oh, I just love this paper. It just makes me happy. I don't know. And that right now is what I need. I'm so stressed about the kids going back to school. I know they need to. I know they need to be in a classroom, but I'm very stressed about it. All right, let's put these guys. Where do we want them? You're cute. <laughs> Hug me. Tuck it in here. See why I didn't want adhesive all the way at the top? Because I want to tuck some in. that look good? Yeah. All right. So all we need to do now is glue these guys down. And then the front of our card is done. So very little stamping on this one again. So it's perfect if you're making lots for your um, children's classes or for your teacher and you want to make Valentine's for your class. Um, this is a really cute really this this uh, bundle with the sweet talk dsp is just gorgeous love it makes me happy do you remember these sweet tarts as kids i used to love getting them oh, they were my favorite these and cinnamon red hearts were my favorite at valentine's day my mom until until the year she died always bought me red cinnamon hearts at Valentine's Day, even even as an adult. I just love it. <laughs> okay, there we go. What do you guys think? Which one do you like better? The pink and the purple or the blues? Okay, so for the inside, I, I've i put these on already. The, the, the sentiment is from the Rainbow of Happiness. So sending you a rainbow of happiness. And then you could either put you make this world a better place or a little I'm using this time a little something to brighten your day so we're just going to stamp those on the inside just like that so all I did was I lined it up on my grid paper okay so I put the N in the rainbow right in the middle of this thick line here I put the two things at the bottom and then I line this up straight so that I can get a straight sentiment so hopefully now if I can get my paper straight my sentiment will be straight. Isn't that neat? Little tips and tricks with grid paper. So I'm just gonna stick that in the middle and hopefully it works. See? Cute, love it. I love this set. I wasn't gonna get it because I'm really not a rainbow kind of girl, but I'm so happy I did. It makes me happy. All right, and we're gonna glue that. And that, my friends, is the last card for today. So let me pull out the cards today to show you what we made. Again, if you want these card kits, super simple. All you need to do is place a $60 purchase with me. Um, and I will send you these kit, the all the materials to make these kits for free. You do need to supply the inks. And you do need to supply the um, stamp sets. If you don't have these specific ones, you can use whatever you have on hand. You can swap them out, no worries. So these are the 
cards that we made. I don't know, which one do you prefer? Pink and purple or the greens? I like them both, but I do like this one. But this is more, if you if you have boys, you could still give you know, boys that. And then we made this one, perfect for those hubbies or the masculine people in your life. And then this is a really cute, uh, just, you know, just because. I love you. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. So don't forget, the last class of this three-part series is on February 12th, um, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And we will make another three cards. Hey, Sarah, how are you doing? Hope all is well. Okay, have a great weekend, guys. Have an amazing week. And uh, I will see you back here on Wednesday for my normal live on Wednesdays. Have a great day. Bye for now.